ओके लेट अस डिस्कस विथ अवर नेक्स्ट चैप्टर कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री नाउ व्हाट इज मीन बाय ए प्लेन प्लेन मींस ए फ्लैट सरफेस व्हिच कैन बी एक्सटेंडेड इन ऑल द डायरेक्शंस दैट इज इन द प्लेन हॉरिजॉन्टल एक्सिस इज कॉल्ड एक्स एक्सिस एंड वर्टिकल एक्सिस इज वर्टिकल एक्सिस इज कॉल्ड वाई एक्सिस द पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई एक्सिस इज कॉल्ड ऑरिजिन डिनोटेड बाय वो एक्स एंड वाई एक्सिस डिवाइड द प्लेन into four parts each part is called a quadrant that is q1 q2 q3 q4 now a quadrant is an ordered pair the first ordinate first coordinate is called x coordinate the second one is called y coordinate this is x positive y positive x negative and y negative now to form a coordinate here x value is a positive and y value is a positive that is a q1 contains a plus plus q2 x coordinate is a minus and y coordinate is a plus that is a minus plus third quadrant is x coordinate is a minus and y coordinate is also the minus now fourth quadrant x value is a plus and y coordinate is a minus therefore we conclude that q1 is both positive values Q2 is negative and the positive. Q3 is negative and the negative, and Q4 is positive and negative. Now, based on this, based on this, now let us go with some examples. And before going to that one, we have to learn some important concept. Point on x-axis, y is equal to zero. that is before going to do this one let us see some examples two comma minus three belongs to four comma four belongs to minus five comma three belongs to minus three comma minus two belongs to and five comma zero belongs to Zero comma five belongs to zero comma zero belongs to four comma minus one belongs to. Now let us see two minus three. That is two is a positive value and three is a negative value. That is plus minus belongs to the which quadrant? You can search. Plus minus belongs to the Q4. Therefore, first one belongs to the Q4. Second one, four four, both are positive. Both are positive means it belongs to Q1. Minus five comma three, that is a minus plus, belongs to the second quadrant. That is a Q2. Minus three minus two. That is, both the values are negative. That is, which belongs to the Q three. Now, five comma zero. Five is a positive. Zero is also positive. But zero, you think it is a positive means which is wrong. Why? Because is zero is neither negative nor positive. Then, what is this concept? Okay, let us go with this two. Once again, now on x-axis, y values must be equals to zero, which is called as point on x-axis y equal to zero. In the similar way, 
point on y axis x equal to 0 which is also called as equation of x axis y is equal to 0 equation of y axis x equal to 0 therefore point this is 5 has the value that is 5 is in which position x position therefore it is point on x axis next 0 comma 5 0 comma 5 means here in place of x 0 is there just to be discussed point on y axis x equal to 0 therefore it is point on y axis 0 comma 0 belongs to origin 4 comma minus 1 that is a 4 is a positive and minus 1 is a negative here that is plus minus belongs to q4 and we have to denote like this in one more way let us see identify the following points identify the following points first one x greater than or equal to 0 y less than 0 second one x less than 0, y less than 0. Third one, x equal, x equal to 0, y less than 0. Fourth one, x greater than 0, y equal to 0. Fifth one, x greater than 0, y greater than 0. Now, let us observe this. Identify the following points. x greater than or equal to 0 means some positive number. You can take any positive number in place of x. y is less than 0. Less than 0 means it is a negative. You can take any negative number. Come to the second one. X less than 0, Y less than 0. That is minus 3, minus 4. That is you can take any negative numbers. Third one. X equal to 0. In place of X, we have to place 0. Y is less than 0. That is a minus 2. Next. X is greater than 0. That is 5 y equal to 0 x greater than 0 7 y greater than 0 8 now you have to identify these points belongs to which quadrants that is 5 comma minus 1 plus minus plus minus belongs to q4 minus 3 minus 4 minus 3 minus both are minus values which belongs to q3 0 because x value is 0 that is a, it is a point on y axis that is which is a point on negative y axis simply we can write as y dash now 5 comma 0 point on positive x axis 7 comma 8 both are positive both are positive means which belongs to q1 now from this con from this concept what we understand is identify the position of the point belongs to the which quadrant that is q1 q2 Q3, Q4 
and the points are also on positive x axis, negative x axis, positive y axis and the negative y axis. 